Hey guys, it's Courtney. And Reagan. So. We got the brand new Monster Jam Series 17 assortment for 2021. We got seven of nine, showing my three favorites in the back right there. Mm -hmm. um, but we got seven out of nine. We did not get the Bakugan Dragonoid uh, Darkest Neo one or the uh, Chase Piece, the uh, Black El Toro Loco uh, for the uh, Showtime trucks yet. But we did get seven, which, hey, I'll take seven out of nine. I'm going to get the other ones on the eBay probably because mm -hmm. those are going to be the hard ones to find. Those are the expensive ones. So let's get right into it. This is a new type of video for RC Toy Reviews. Reagan, his whole life is Monster Jam. Yeah, so, you know, some of you may know have uh, come over here from uh, Monster Jam Lord on YouTube. That is my, you know, main YouTube channel that I've been going on for about five years now. And... I've never made monster truck toy reviews, at least professionally. I mean, I did it, you know, when I was a kid before uh, I started, the channel started taking off. I just kind of did it for fun back when I was collecting. Got out of collecting for a couple of years and now I'm back into it. So we're going to start off right now with, let's go with like my least favorite from this assortment that we got here right now, <laughs> which is Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Rottweiler. So let's get right into it. I like that one. Okay. Like... Well, oh, I'll explain why it's my least favorite. Here it is. First one. Oh, there you go. Okay. So here it is. Here is Monster Mutt Rottweiler from Mix 17 for 2021. Let's take this off first. So this is the accessory for 2021. It is the uh, wheelie bars. You can put these on the back of the truck and the front of the truck. Put it on the front real quick like that. And uh, they can do moonwalks and stoppies and the whole shabam. That is the most uh, useful accessory that Spin Master has come out with so far. Let's get right into the poster before we show the truck. Here's the poster for Mix 17, which I have not seen yet. I don't know anything about. And it is right here. Oh, and how appropriate. Picture of Monster Mutt Rottweiler in competition. So on the back of it, you got your assortment checklist. You got a... Uh, all nine trucks that are available in the set. A little shiny there. Hopefully you can see it. So there we go. Let's get into the reviews, though. Here is the first truck from Mix 17 that we got. We got Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Hey, this is not a bad truck at all. This is the most tour accurate uh, Monster Mutt Rottweiler we have seen uh, from Spin Master, I would say. Uh, it does not very often run the gold beadlocks, but I'm pretty sure it did when this truck was more operate on felled chassis other than just stuck on uh, independent truck bodies. I'm going to be saying a lot of uh, Monster Jam specific lingo in this video, so if you guys are not fans, or hardcore fans, excuse me, uh, bear with me here. But <laughs> I am heavy into Monster Jam and Monster Trucks. So uh, the main difference in this Monster Mutt Rottweiler compared to uh, most of Monster Mutts that have come out in general is that the ears are down. New for 2021. They're putting Monster Mutt Rottweiler and Monster Mutt's ears down. Dalmatians are still up, like the, like the ears are flowing, but here they are down. So, let's go. How what do you feel about this truck, Court? I like that one a lot. I always like the animal ones. They're really cute. Oh, yeah, you like I the... like the... The ears look like tortillas. I like the rims are gold <laughs> and shiny. Um, Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. It's all black, basically. I think it's pretty, but let's get on to the next truck for this assortment we're going to go to earth shaker with the elementals design let's get right into it and it's called elemental because the wheels are oh god this one's being rough okay there we go hold on i messed up the tire there we go so the reason why this earth shaker is part of the elemental series for 2021 is because if you cannot tell the tires are not bkt tires they are just dirt so with the elemental series this year they have uh, the trucks with, uh, you know, typically one of each uh, element design. We got Earth, which is the dirt for Earthshaker. We got uh, the Fire Gravedigger coming out in Mix 18, a Wind Bakugan Dragonoid, and we already had a Dirt Zombie come out in Mix uh, 16 earlier this year. So this is Earthshaker again, just, you know, kind of another basic one. We're starting off with the basics ones, and we're going to end it off with a bang by the end of the episode so next one i'm going uh this grave digger right here so this mm. is the um it's called the sheer madness uh 
grave digger and that, that's unfortunate okay <laughs> okay here it is so oh god wait they're all so hard to get out yeah i know okay here it is it took a lot of work okay this is good i'm excited to get into this one here is the wheelie bar for the sheer madness oh it, this is being difficult too okay it is just you know a standard green bar with a black wheel so i saw that there this is new this one is big because this is the first ever spin master clear body or should i say plastic body that is for uh, besides the training trucks from 2019 um if you can see very closely let's get that focused excuse okay there we go you can see through the body on Gravedigger. It is a nice, I like the lime green, or not even lime green, but like, it's more like a candy apple green for the clear body on Gravedigger. But the white rims, interesting choice. I like the white rims too. And the metal body, they use a metal body on these plastic, uh, plastic uh, or metal uh, chassis on the plastic bodies to uh, offset the weight balance. So they are a similar weight to the metal bodies plastic chassis so that is why this truck is what it is and i like this this is the first out of i think five they're going to release this year they're going to have the son of a digger pretty sure a megalodon that's really cool that's going to be a very interesting series to look out for especially starting off with a green grave digger because what other colors are they going to use for the other trucks you know that one came out easy. oh my gosh i love this one guys it looks like it's just like a sketch on a notepad look at that that's a really that nice design so so this is the max contrast dragon the first max contrast of 2021 the whole theme of max contrast this year is that the trucks are white and black so you take away all the coloring and all the uh special colors like dragons typically green with orange and red and all that you take away all those and you got a white dragon with black uh stenciling almost it looks like a drawing like on a piece of paper they're gonna have That's what i just said well i said it too so get out of here period so next we have double decker a complete custom new design by spin master just like a salvager from the reckless series from 2020 this one is nice so this one definitely competes with salvager for me it is a semi truck with a uh looks like almost like a kind of like a volkswagen beetle or something like that on top of it um hence the name double decker uh the reckless trucks are it's one of my favorite uh original series from spin master it's very unique i love the matte paint i love the uh you know like the salvage type vehicles mm -hmm. and uh, also like the realistics um excuse me the realistic reckless series trucks are so awesome like the altor locos max d's and grave diggers i love that concept as well but their custom concepts are like just as cool as those so here's all the designs from or um from this truck right here i think i like this one a little more than salvager how about you mm, yeah this is really unique really cool so that is it for salvager now my two favorite ones so here's this with the wheelie bar taken off this is, is bulldozer. bulldozer really cool it's like let me see this closer yeah his hair detailed you can see, you see that hair detail wow highly detailed so one of the most highly requested trucks by spin master according to our lord and savior monster Aunt jam ocd he, he knows all that information is bulldozer and i definitely can see why now because this truck is beautiful uh all monster jam fans uh especially older monster jam fans will remember bulldozer from its stint in the late 90s early 2000s as well as uh 2009 2010 that bulldozer is a uh, front engine truck driven by uh, most recently, Chuck Warner, before that, Tom Mentz, Guy Wood, others like that. And this truck has so much detail, so beautiful. Different wheels. I like it more than any El Toro Loco. I think Bulldozer is definitely, for one, it's the original Bull Monster truck. And for two, it is just a much more clean version, if you ask me. Looks so good. It's got a gold note, or a blue nose ring, excuse me unlike El Torloco's gold nose ring, white horns, 
And to top it off, the front engine chassis just makes it perfect. It looks so beautiful with the front engine chassis and the gray rims and uh, flotation tires instead of BKT, really making this truck accurate. Um, I also heard that there is a three-pack version of Bulldozer coming out later this year. I think it was like Amazon exclusive or something like that. And I can't wait to see how that looks like. It's going to have white wall tires. So that's going to be like the first ever Spin Master truck to have white wall tires. And this so far is my favorite of Mix 17 right here. That's why we saved it for the last. And let's end this off with a bang. The Burn Victim Zombie from the World <laughs> Finals 2015 Encore. I cannot wait for this. It's literally called Burn Victim. That's like mean. <laughs> but it is a Burn Victim. You're going to see why real quick, okay? So let's get into this right now and another one of these. Okay, so silly old me forgot to mention one of the most important parts about Bulldozer is that it's the first truck to come out with a front engine specific wheelie bar because these wheelie bars right here do not fit the front engine chassis mold. So they had to come out with a front engine uh, chassis specific mold, which looks a lot cooler if you ask me. It's got the, uh, instead of like the flame type design that they got here, they got more, you know, as realistic as you can get of a design for a wheelie bar. I mean, it's got a shock on it, like a, a coil over shock, just like all the front engine trucks run. So that makes it even better and that these fit front engine trucks exclusively. So beautiful. Cannot forget to mention that. That's important. So, getting into Burn Victim Zombie. My favorite of the mix, I think, by far. Um, you know, even leaving out the other two that we do not have for today. This truck is one of those trucks I never thought we'd see in diecast, period, you know, for <laughs> Monster Jam. Uh, it's just such, you know, it was a one-off. It only appeared in that Encore, and we barely even saw it because the Encore was not lit up at all. You cannot see this truck while it was driving at all and again it only appeared that one time um but it has come to diecast form for the first time ever in the boneyard series which as you can tell uh the boneyard series has a special bone chassis where they got like bones all throughout it and you know ligaments and stuff and the color in the hubcaps right there and this body is beautiful I mean, the color they got for the arms is kind of off-putting. It's like a little awkward. doesn't really match the rest of the color here. But hey, I'm not complaining at all. This is a brand new zombie chassis. They remolded the head, brain, even the little fenders right here in the back. Brand spanking new for this special model. I mean, what they could have done is they could have been lazy and just changed the arms up and then put a, a normal zombie body on there. But no, they decided to go all out for this one, make it how they should. And this truck just makes me all the more excited for later this year when we see the biker zombie come out because that truck is one of my favorite Monster Jam trucks of all time because of how absurd it is. The biker zombie's got a bandana on it. It's got a beard. It's got arms and legs. It is one of the most detailed felled monster trucks we've ever seen anywhere, anytime, anywhere. And they're going to turn into a die cast. I don't know how. So I'm excited to see how that comes out. That's probably going to be one of my favorite diecast monster trucks of all time. So that is it for all of these seven trucks we got today. Let's go line them up and show our favorites, eh? And here they are all lined up. Uh, seven out of the nine from Mix 17 2021. Which one is your favorite, babe? Um, You already know... Okay, I'm gonna say zombie. The bikers or uh, the burn victim zombie. Mm, I can't say the obvious, which is the dragon, which is like close second. I love that. Um, Grave Digger's really good. Bulldozer. Yeah. They're all really good. Yeah, these are all pretty good. I think the 2021 mixes are, it's, I, I think even though the 2021 was shortened by a lot, uh, probably due to the pandemic that happened. They had to cut down a lot of trucks from the schedule and make less cases. I still think it is the best Spin Master lineup we have seen out of all three years so far. And all these mixes have been great so far. The first two we've seen of the year and including mix 18 coming out next month. That's going to be even better. Um, but I got to go. The Burn Victim Zombie is my favorite from this case, including the El Toro Loco and the Bakugan, which I haven't seen in person yet. But I don't think they're going to top this at all. So much detail. And I'm just thankful that we have this as a die cast. This is a truck I never thought we would have saw. 
And now we have, it's even got blue eyes. <laughs> yeah. He's crying. No, he has pretty blue eyes. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take it that way. So that is it for the review of these seven of nine from Mix 17, Monster Jam 2021 Spin Master Toys. If you enjoyed this and want to see more Monster Jam reviews, make sure to share the video, like, comment. Hey, just because we're doing one Monster Jam video doesn't mean we're not doing mini brands, cutitos, and all that. Okay, this is just my passion I'm showing out to you guys. So if you guys want to see more of these, show, show it in the like, show it in the comments. If you don't, then I'll know you don't want to see it. And we'll stick to our bread and butter mini brands and all that. But here we go, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.